Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to show a very simple application. So it's going to be a node application and many times we want to parse a CSV. So let's say if you have an Excel file or a CSV file and you want to parse it and maybe then store it into database or maybe write it to another CSV file, any application or any use case you have, um, if you have, if you want to parse a CSV file, so that's what this application will be able to achieve. And I'm going to start the coding part now. Um, so basically it's going to be a Node.js application. So let me create a directory and Node CSV parse. So let's go inside the directory and then I will do npm init to initialize um, this repository to be a npm um, project. Now, once that is done, I would install um, some dependencies, which would be, let me do ls and okay, we have package.json file. So I will do npm install, um, I need express because it's gonna be a node server. Then I need um, CSV, um, this is a npm module. Uh, let's check npm CSV. Um, yeah, so this provides us with functionalities to parse and then it has got, it's a package and it has got four functionalities. We are going to use CSV parse for now. Um, you can actually go over the documentation and there are different ways for it. Uh, I'm only gonna focus on the simple uh, form. Now, once this is done, I guess, yeah, that's all we need. Let's install it. In the meantime, um, the, let me open this project inside, uh, so let me do this new window. Okay, I have add, or oh, let me see, um, file open. Uh, okay, YouTube, Node.js, okay. So we can open this project here till the time. Okay, so installation was done. Let me check that. Okay, it's all there. Now, uh, in order to parse it uh, i have a sample file and obviously i'll be sharing this in my github repository so you guys also will have access to it um, but i'll be using this sample csv file um, obviously it's right now it's not in the excel format but yeah this is uh, going to be our csv file that we want to parse and for that let me create a new file called server.js okay and then in this one i will in import few dependencies one would be express um, uh, one would be const app express this is to initialize our app uh, i would need to import the parse method uh, from our csv package so it will be csv parse and then obviously we need the file system because f file system helps us to um, you know get the file that is um, locally present inside the folder so this is what we're going to use um, now let me um, um, I, I think I would also like to install nodemon because um, that makes my life easy um, I just need to you know um, add the changes and keep the server running and it will automatically work. So once this is done, I'll go to package.json. Um, I'll change this to server.js. And here I will add a start command and it will be node mon server.js. Cool. So this is done. Now let me create um, app.use express json and then i have app listen on 3000 port console.log server started cool um this is done and then after this uh, what else do i need i think i can start the server and then we will add the other functionality to parse it let me see if it works fine um, npm start it started listening okay server started so we don't have any errors now i will start the main logic part without wasting any time so 
I am going to create a method called parser. So it's going to be parser and then I'll call this parse, which we imported from CSV parse dependency, right? So columns true. Now the reason I pass the argument as columns true is because if it's true, it basically creates rows based on the columns. Um, so you will see how it works if I make it false and if I make it true. But for now, let's keep it um, true. Error records. Okay, now here I will just do console.log records um, and then we can move from there onwards. Now, first, in order to call this method, I will create, I will use fs to create a read stream because we are reading um, from CSV and directory name. So underscore underscore directory name will give us um, the path to the current directory. And from there onwards, what is our file name, which is sample.csv, right, dot pipe, and then we pipe the parser method. Oops, correct. Um, so this looks right. Okay, let's save it. Okay, and we can see our parsing was done fine that, okay, so, the reason I used column is uh, because each row is this is one row, um, then this is one row and then these are individual columns. So if I do the columns true, then it actually gets it. If I um, change it to false. So in that case, we get the column based. So you see that we get each column which is like not what really we need we we obviously know that each row is a separate entity or separate entry and most of the times it's the rows that we want to parse and then we want to save those rows in the db so that's how um, this thing works so you see how clean it is with with columns it's it doesn't take the columns as separate rows it just adds those as the entries so yeah, this is all about parsing a CSV in a Node.js application. Um, this is a very simple part. Obviously, it's not a big application and we can do a lot of other bunch of stuff like we can add React and we can add the UI to it. Um, but I have seen in many of my projects, there have been use cases that I need to parse a CSV uh, or, or I need to create an endpoint that parses a CSV. So for that, I actually go ahead and implement a small uh, functionality and because I have already implemented it once, I can just, you know, copy paste it from this part and put it in the other project. Cool. Um, so yeah, that's all for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. If so, please subscribe to my channel. Um, it helps me and supports me. Um, give me a, a thumbs up on this video and also follow me on Instagram. Thanks everyone.